Hi, my name is Alice and if you've worked your way through my website so far, you should have a rough idea of my approach to disengagement at this point. If you haven't gone through my website, please do so before proceeding with this podcast. While there are a lot of very formal approaches to disengagement, my solution works to combine simpler concepts and strategies to address the issue. The key starting point for implementing my innovation is to understand my students. Who are they? Where are they from? What's important to them? And what are they passionate about? The second focus point for this innovation is understanding why my students are disengaged. This was covered in my blog post on exploring disengagement, which you can go back and read if you haven't already. Once you know your students and understand the reasons behind their disengagement, you can then move on to implementing strategies to keep them engaged. My strategies are not a one-time fix. They are long-term strategies that would become an integral element of my everyday practice. So the question I want to answer here is, how do the individual elements of my approach work together to address disengagement? Let me take a moment to explain. My approach begins with the learning environment. This means remodeling classrooms to cater for students' mental and physical comfort. Classes are long and students will become disengaged if their environment doesn't keep them interested. The environment would remove the traditional classroom layout and replace it with something that creates a feeling of comfort and community. In discussing with my students what makes them most engaged in learning, they always answered that classes were most interesting when the learning environment was designed to make them more comfortable and created a space for them to collaborate. Improving the learning environment would also involve moving beyond the physical aspects and looking more closely at the social aspects. This classroom environment would encourage the social aspect of learning and would endeavour to foster feelings of safety and inclusivity. All students would be encouraged to value and promote a positive environment where all students feel safe and supported amongst their teachers and peers. This learning environment ties in with the concept of lighting the spark. It sounds gimmicky, but it's important to solving the disengagement in modern classrooms. Once students feel comfortable and are ready to learn in a space that nourishes their minds, it is our job to find their strengths and passions. These strengths and passions will then serve to drive all teaching and learning. So how does all of this tie in with mobile learning? The answer? Mobile learning opens up and expands on a world where students can truly explore and express themselves in learning. Digital technologies transform an English classroom from a reading and writing space into a space for imagination and creation. If a student wants to design a comic that reimagines the story of Romeo and Juliet, then let them follow that passion with animating software and drawing tablets. If that's their passion, support that passion. If students struggle with staying focused on long books, introduce them to the wonderful world of audiobooks. If their strength is in processing audio as information, then support that. These are simple examples, but I think they make a clear point. It's okay to use technology as a way to move beyond traditional modes of teaching and learning have been boring students for far too long. In this environment, learning becomes a limitless world of opportunities when students are connected to digital networks that support their education. A digitally enabled classroom creates an environment that engages students in their passions and it would work perfectly in a classroom that is physically structured to support learners as creative thinkers. The classroom would no longer look like this daunting world of books and pens and paper that students so often feel like rejecting. The classroom would look inviting and it would inspire our students to learn and love what they learn. And that's what's really important to me. 
That's what my innovation aims to achieve. Thank you for listening.